is everything ready or not? Yeah, everything is ready. Now let's go. Madam will be coming at any time. Yes, we have to welcome her. We can't make any mistake. Yes, I have heard that she is kind of strict. Welcome, ma'am. Wore the head with respect at 90 degree. Thanks. Let's go, ma'am. I'll show you your cabin. Hmm. Hey Jungkook, have you completed the new project's file? It's almost completed bro. Ok then go and get it checked by ma'am. What? Did I heard it right? Do I have to get it checked by the new boss? Yes of course. Why are you shouting? Sorry, mm, Jack you are my bro no? No I am not your bro. I know it very well what's going on in your mind. So you better go and get it checked by yourself. Bro, please now. I'm scared of her. What if she scolds me? Are you insane, Jungkook? Why will she scold you unnecessarily? But girls are like this now. Rich girls are kinda rude. Not every girl is same, bro. Now just go. Okay. Knock, knock. Yes, come in. While focusing on computer screen, Jungkook entered into her cabin and went towards her table. Ma'am, please check over the new project's file. Said while giving file to Van. Hmm, show me, said while taking the file from his hands without looking at him. Now Wan is checking the file whereas Jungkook is admiring her. He is mesmerized by her beauty. Jungkook in mind, so fucking gorgeous. Wan was checking the file with full concentration. Wan in mind, hmm, work is done with perfection. Let me see who is the owner of this perfection. Saying this, Wan shifted her gaze from the file and looked at the man standing in front of her, none other than Jungkook. Van in mind, hmm, beauty with perfection. Then she again shifted her gaze on file and took out a pen from the pen holder and signed the file and gave it to Jungkook. Well done ma'am, you have did a good job. Thanks ma'am, board and took the file from Van. By the way, what's your name? It's Jungkook. Nice name. Thank you ma'am. You can go now and please send Mr. Min in my cabin. Okay ma'am. After coming outside from man's cabin, he was thinking of what happened just now. Jungkook in mind. Did she just praise me? Oh my god, well I thought that she'll be strict or kinda rude. But I'm wrong. She's kind and beautiful. Hey man, what are you thinking? And what happened it was past the new project's file? Yes, she signed it and she even praised me. I think she's kind one, not strict and rude. Wow, I told you now everyone is not same. Yeah. Van is working on a computer screen while working. She got tired, so she shifted her gaze from computer screen and relaxed herself. Suddenly her gaze fell on the window from where Jungkook was sewing. He was working with a lot of concentration, looking so itself. Van was unable to take her eyes off from him. What's happening to me? Why can't I take my eyes off from him? Am I falling for him? I want to know about him so badly. Saying this, Van called her secretly. On call, Mr. Min sent Jack to my cabin now. Okay, ma'am. Well, Van knows that Jack is Jungkook's friend because most of the time she saw them talking and giggling with each other. After some time, you call me, ma'am? Yes, tell me everything about you and Jungkook, whatever you know. About Jungkook, but why, ma'am? Just do what you have been asked for. Okay, ma'am. Jungkook's full name is Jeon Jungkook. He is 21 years old. His parents died when he was 14, so he lives all alone. Is he married or? He is single, ma'am. Okay, you can go now. Okay, ma'am. By the way, Jack, sorry for being rude. It's okay, ma'am. Jack, can you do a favor to me? Of course, ma'am. You just say. Please don't tell Jungkook about our conversation. Sure, ma'am. I'll not tell him. Thanks. Now I should get going, ma'am. Hmm. No wonder Jungkook was right. She is really kind and straight towards her employees. Like man, which boss would apologize to his or her employee? She is really amazing. But why did she wanted to know about Jungkook? Something is fishy. Jungkook is 21 years old. That means he is four years younger than me. Yeah, as I am 25. I think it's quite amazing. I love younger boys. Another day at office. Van is here explaining to all the employees about the project. 
whereas all the employees are listening to her carefully. But our Jungkook is immersed in something else. He is just continuously staring at her without even blinking once. Wan noticed Jungkook's gaze on her. She kind of blushed and then she also looked back at him. Their eyes made. She gave him a warm and sweet smile. Then again, she shifted her gaze back on the projector. Was that real? She smiled at me. Oh my god, I'll die out of excitement. Wan was going to her home after work, but she slowed her car on seeing a familiar figure walking on the road. When she gets near, she recognized that it was none other than Jungkook. I was just going home after finishing my work. Suddenly, a luxurious black car stopped in front of me. I was confused about who is the owner, but as soon as the car smell got down, I got surprised as the owner was my boss. Ma'am, do you need something? What happened? Why are you walking? I'm going to home. Do you go to home like this? I mean, no ma'am. Actually, usually I came to office by my bicycle, but today it got broken. That's why I had to walk to the office. Who oh, then come sit inside the car? No problem ma'am. I can go by. Come on Jungkook. I'm going on the same way as yours. I can drop you. Okay ma'am. Then Jungkook got inside the car and sat comfortably. Where do you live? At access to this place. Okay, let's go. There was an awkward silence. Nobody was trying to break the silence. Sometimes Wan looks at Jungkook and sometimes Jungkook looks at Wan. The whole ride was going like this until Jungkook broke the ice. Just drop me here, ma'am. Ah, okay, okay. Wan stopped the car. Jungkook unbuckled the seat belt and looked at Wan. Thank you so much, ma'am, for dropping me. Mention not. Then I should get going now. Hmm. Good night. Good night. After waiting by to each other, Van made her way to her home. At night, after getting pressed, Van laid herself down on the bed and started thinking whatever happened today. Van in mind, I'm falling for you, Jungkook. You're really so cute. Why can't I stop thinking about Ban? Why my heart flutters whenever she smiles at me? I should stop this before any more feelings grow in my heart for her. Cause in the end, I'll hurt myself as I don't deserve her. She deserves someone who can fulfill her all the wishes. But I'm unable to do that. I'm not even of her level. So I should stop this. Next day, Mr. Min sent Jungkook in my cabin right now. Okay, ma'am. After a while, you call for me, ma'am? Yes, please finish these files by today. Okay, ma'am. Jungkook was about to go but got stopped by Van's sudden voice. Mm, Jungkook, are you free at night? Let's have dinner outside. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm not free. I have some stuffs to do. Uh, it's okay. Van kind of felt disappointed but she thought that uh, he might be busy. That's why he refused for having dinner with her. After two days, in those two days, Van felt some changes in Jungkook's behavior. Now he always tries to avoid her. Most of the time, he ignores her. She is kind of disappointed and hurt by his behavior. Whenever she tries to approach him, he just ignores her. This creates doubt in Van's mind that maybe he has a girlfriend or I need to ask him why is he behaving strange. Currently, Van is continuously calling Jungkook but he is not picking up her call. Why is she calling so late at night? Whatever, I am not going to pick it up. I must remain within my limits. What's wrong with you Jungkook? You are getting on my nerves. I am continuously calling you but you are not giving a damn about it. I wanna know what's going on in your mind. After some time, I was fixing my bed, suddenly doorbell rings. Jungkook in mind, who could be so late at night? He went to open the door confused about who rings the bell at so late night. As soon as he opened the door, he got shocked because it was Van. Ma'am, what are you doing here at this time? Why were you not picking up my calls? Oh that, I actually didn't notice as my phone was on silent mode. You didn't notice or you intentionally didn't want to pick it up. You are getting me wrong ma'am. By the way, it's getting late. You should go back. Again Jungkook, what the hell is wrong with you? Hmm? What? I am alright. Nothing is wrong with me. 
then why are you ignoring me from fucking two days? Hmm? I'm not. Don't you dare to lie, Jungkook. You know it very well that you are trying to ignore me, even after you know that we feel something for each other. We both know that our heart splutters every time we make eye contact. Neither I am ignoring you nor I have any kind of feelings for you. Jungkook, say it again while looking in my eyes. Jungkook started looking at other side trying hard to maintain his poker face. Look in my eyes, Jungkook. With a lot of strength, Jungkook looked in her eyes and I have no feelings for you, Wan. I don't feel anything for you. Nothing happens to me whenever you smile at me. Nothing happens to me whenever you praise me. I just feel nothing for you, Wan. Wan flinched and closed her eyes to bear the pain that Jungkook was giving her. She stood in that position for few minutes. Jungkook felt a sting pain in his heart when he saw that Wan was trying hard not to break down. So he took a few steps towards her, but she suddenly spoke. I'm sorry, Jungkook. I think I misunderstood that you also feel the same for me. But it's okay. If you don't, I promise I'll not bother you again. Have a good night. Saying this, Wan went away from there while crying. Jungkook's heart sank on seeing her crying, but he shrugged off, thinking that this is better for her. But little did he knew that it was worse for Wan. She has deeply fallen in love with him, but he just shattered her heart into many pieces. She cried whole night. Somehow she managed herself and consoled herself by saying that she can't force someone to love her back. Jungkook knock knock. Come in. Said while focusing on the computer screen. Ma'am, these are the paperwork which you have asked me to complete. Jungkook was looking at Ban, but she was looking at computer screen. She didn't even spare a glance at him. She was looking so pale and weak. Okay, put it here. Said while focusing on the screen. I should get going now. Hmm. Still focusing on the screen. Jungkook looked at Ban the last time and went away from there. He kind of felt bad because uh, Ban didn't even looked at him once. Jungkook in mind. She didn't even looked at me. Things are going like this nowadays. Ban don't likes to talk to Jungkook. She doesn't even looks at him, not because she hates him, but because he has hurted her feelings badly. Moreover, she thinks that when he doesn't feel anything for her, then what's remaining to talk? So she now considers best not to talk to him and to stay away from him. Whereas Jungkook is now regretting for being harsh on Ban on that day, he is now dying for her attention. He wants to talk to her badly. He wants to see her that cheerful smile again, which she have lost because of him. She looks so lost and pale because of me. I have snatched her smile away from her. I should apologize to her. I'll talk to her today. Van was going towards her car, which was in a parking lot. Suddenly, someone hugged her tightly from behind. She got shocked. When she turned around, she saw a man was hugging her while smiling widely. I missed you, Yanni. What is this behavior, Jimin? Didn't you miss me? Nope. You are so bad, Yanni. Okay, okay. Enough of your drama. Now tell me why did you suddenly appear? Actually, today I miss everyone so much, so I came to meet you all. Okay, okay. Let's meet at home. Okay, now I'm going out. I have some work to do. Okay. Love you, Yanni. Saying this, he hugged Van. She hugged him back as he is. Her brother and they are meeting after so much time. Okay, okay, now go. Hmm, bye, bye. Van was unaware that someone was watching her from behind, and that someone was none other than Jungkook. When he saw Jimin hugging Van, he got jealous and angry as he was watching them from far, so he was unable to hear what they both were talking. When Jimin again hugged Van and she also hugged him back and gave him a warm smile, then Jungkook got so jealous. When Jimin went away after waiting by, Jungkook instantly went towards Wan and hold her hand tightly from behind. Who the hell are you? When she turned around, she got shocked after finding Jungkook so close to her. What are you doing here? She said nervously due to the closeness between them. 
Jungkook remained silent. He was fiercely gazing her. She was getting scared of his fire sisters, but she managed to stay strong anyhow. What are you doing, Jungkook? Leave my hand. She said with a straight face looking away from Jungkook. Now you feel disgusted by my touch? What are you saying, Jungkook? Just leave me. You didn't ask that man to leave you when he was hugging you. Which man? Suddenly, Vine remembered that Jimin was the one who hugged her a while ago. Now you don't remember, hmm? So what? I can hug anyone, whoever I want. Why does it ma matters to you? It matters to me, Vine. It it matters a lot. You can't hug anyone except me. Keep that in your mind. And why should I follow you? Didn't you said that you don't feel anything for me? Didn't you told me that you don't like me? Then she got cut off by him. I fucking love you, Vine. I love you so much, and I'm fucking sorry for blurting out nonsense that day. Suddenly, Jungkook smashed his lips on Vine's lips and kissed her passionately. At first, Vine was shocked, so she didn't kiss him back. She was processing what happened just now. Jungkook softly wiped her lower lip while kissing, signaling her to kiss him back. Vine came back to her senses, then kissed him back and puts her hand around Jungkook's neck. and his one hand was on her waist and other was on her cheek they shared a romantic moment with each after a while they broke the kiss they were still in the same position van looked down sadly i'm sorry for confessing late but i really loved you van why were you holding back your feelings jungkook i was because just tell me already jungkook i was holding back because i thought that you deserve someone better than me as i am unable to fulfill your wishes with the money which i am earning now van cut off him did i ever told you to fulfill my wishes she asked looking straight in his eyes van i know you didn't ask but still jungkook i love you not your money I myself know that you are so hard working person. I know you are working so hard for your dreams. Moreover, I am earning enough to fulfill both of our needs. Still Ryan. Jungkook, you did wrong by thinking like that, okay? Don't ever think like that, okay? I'm sorry, Van. I'll not think about it anymore and hold back my feelings. That's like my cock. Now let's go. I'll drop you at your home. She said while offering her hand. Jungkook holds her hand while smiling widely. Then they both went away. Next day, ma'am, today you have a meeting at 10 a.m. Okay, I'll get going, ma'am. Call me if you need anything. Okay, Mr. Min, please send Jungkook in my cabin. Okay, ma'am. Jungkook, knock knock. You don't have to ask me to come in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Why did you call me, ma'am? Did you perhaps miss me? Miss Cook, why are you calling me, ma'am? Why wouldn't I call you, ma'am? After all, you are my boss. But now I am your girlfriend now. Jungkook chuckled softly. Is that so? He said while wrapping his hands around her waist. You know which one landed on his chest? Yes. So did you miss your cook? Yes, yeah, so much. She said while spreading her hands widely in the air. Jungkook chuckles at her cuteness. I miss you too, Vani. They both smiled at each other, then connected their foreheads. Vani is now making dinner. She refused to take help from Jungkook and told him to rest for a while. But Jungkook is getting bored, so he came into the kitchen and put his chin on Vani's shoulder with a pout. Vani felt his presence. She chuckles internally at his behavior. What happened to my cook? Your cook is getting bored. But why? Because Vani is busy. Oh, I'm just done with cooking. Just wait a little more, hmm? Hmm. Okay. Now go and sit there. No, I'll stay like this. Ah, uh, cook. You know very well that I can't resist your that cute innocent face. Jungkook giggled cutely. Jungkook and Van smiled at each other. Suddenly, doorbell rings. Yeah, who destroyed destroyed our beautiful moment? I'm going to open the door. Okay. Jungkook bent to open the door. Once he opened the door, his smile turns into anger when he looks at the person standing in front of him, standing with a shocked and confused expression. 
what are you doing here i should be asking you that what are you doing here at my place and who are you whoever i am that shouldn't matters to you he stopped when he listened vance voice jungkook who has come she stopped in middle when she spotted jimin at the door jimin what are you doing here at this time i was missing you yoni that's why i came to meet you he said while coming towards van jungkook in mind yoni is he van's brother yeah okay okay now come inside first tell me who is this man i am her boyfriend he said confidently oh wow what a attitude by the way yoni when did you find a boyfriend you didn't even told me about him what's there to tell you anyways yoni from where did you find him he looks quite angry Who are you calling younger? Hmm? Shorty, don't get angry, man. I was just kidding. Now will you both stop so that we can have dinner? Yeah, Yanni, I'm so hungry. Me too, Vanny. Now come. Van is doing some important work on her laptop, and again, our cookie is good, getting bored. So he keep asking Van to spend time with him. Vanny please come and play with me he said while holding Vanny's arm cook please i am doing some important work it will take time so you go and play please understand okay Jimin overheard their conversation he saw now Jungkook was sadly going towards living room he came and sat on the couch with a pout Jimin chuckled at his innocence and cuteness so he went towards him and sat near him what's up Jungkook nothing well do you know that i am champion in video games hey hey go and see your face in a mirror champion <laughs> if you don't believe me then let's compete you will get to know about my ability i don't want to play with you that's because you are afraid of getting lost who is afraid let's play and we'll see who is the champion okay Jimin and Jungkook started playing the game as we all know that our Jungkook is the champion in all fields so same guess goes here too he was playing better than Jimin after some time Van has finished her work but she noticed that Jungkook was still not there in the room so she came in the living room to check for him but there she saw both Jimin and Jungkook were playing the video game wildly they were shouting laughing and enjoying while playing Van in mind what the naughty little boys have made now who will handle them Stop playing games Jimin and Jungko get back to sleep she said while folding her hands You need just 5 minutes yeah Vanny just wait for 5 minutes They both said with their full concentration on game Van bent towards them and snatched remote from their hands Now go Jimin get back to sleep it's already late Yeah you need you don't let me play for 5 minutes go now okay okay Jungkook will play some other day he said while winking at him Jungkook nodded lightly then Jimin bent away from there to his room then Van looked at Jungkook with folded hands against her chest i was just going to he didn't even complete his sentence and ran away from there to their shared bedroom Van chuckles at his action then she also went behind him Jungkook was already lying down on the bed. Van came and laid herself down on the bed. Jungkook was watching her every move. He wanted to cuddle her, but has not courage to say this to her. She looked at him only to find him already looking at her with his innocent doe eyes. Come, she said while spreading her arms for Jungkook to hug her. Then Jungkook went near her and hugged her. He put his head on her chest and his arm around her waist. Van kissed Jungkook's head, then both drifted into the.